So it's a week ago, and my bottle of gas runs out, so I'm going to get another bottle of gas to cook with. And I run into a gas attendant, and he is extremely happy, unbelievably happy. And he assures me that he has had triple bypass surgery, and he's living every single day of his life to be as happy as possible. But oh my goodness, he also mentioned something very, very unusual that his doctor told him and asked him, has he ever tried using neem for hypertension? I said, oh, whoa, here's a doctor actually advising a herbal natural plant for somebody to use as a very positive measure to get them really well. Hmm, interesting. So... I'm thinking now about blueberry bean, using it every day, every two days or so, in small quantities. And yeah, the farmers tell me that it's so good for me. You know, it helps cleanse your body, and you can feel the cleansing in your body. Um, you know, it's, you see it, feel it in your stool. Um, cold, it helps ward off cold. If you've got a cold, it helps take care of the cold. And yeah, you haven't had a cold for quite some time. Now, I'm wondering if this blueberry bean, which is so cheap to get so cheap to grow, so resistant to slugs and other pests like that. Why, why are we not using it? Yeah, I mean, it seems to work. But I also find that it's also good for hypertension. It can also address your hypertension issue and many other things. So here we have a miracle plant, like a weed growing just by the way of study, something that we can just plant in our backyard. It grows easily. And we can hopefully extend our lives a little bit more if we start using some of these natural gifts that the God and the Lord have provided for us. So, this is something that we can do. Um, help our children grow healthier, stay healthier, live longer lives, and we do the same. You tell me, it's blue vervain. It's very easy to grow, and it costs net skin to nothing to grow, and it's really great. Farmers, and it seems to me to be working.